I'm Jared Deanda and this is Snap-on Tool Tips. Scott, we're talking torque wrenches because there is a difference, not only snap-on tools, but the whole line of torque wrenches. What do we have? Yeah, this is our family of torque, starting with the TQ, QD, and ATEC. And so, you know, what we always say is your right arm is not certified for torque. So you need a torque wrench. And not only do you need a torque wrench, you need multiple torque wrenches depending on the application that you're doing. So let's start off with the TQ. TQ is a great set it and forget it. 4% accuracy, it's a mechanical gauge. Little dial here on the side allows you to figure out what torque trip value you wanna put. And essentially what you're doing on this cutaway here is you can see how it just moves the pivot point. That's how you're adjusting how much torque load you're putting into it. So it's got a 15 degree swivel on the head. So if you're working on wheels and tires and you're trying to do a torque, you gotta get obviously away from the wheel so you don't scratch it. You got a nice little flex head, sealed head, 36 tooth. So it's very accurate, very rugged. This comes in three eighths, half inch and three quarter inch drive. So really meant for, you know, heavier loads. Minimal moving pieces, you know, mm -hmm. compared to when we step over here to that QD, but this is a workhorse. This is something you're gonna find in you know, a lot of tire and wheel shops. Repeatable set torque, right? So if you're just always doing 100 foot pounds or whatever that might be, you can just set it, forget it and keep going. Okay, so then now we're gonna move up to the QD. You've seen these in every technician's toolbox. It's a very tried and true design. It's all mechanical. So there's a screw here that adjusts how much this spring coils, which then goes into a hardened cam and that's kind of setting your torque. And then as soon as you hit that torque value, it'll click and break it away. So that's breaking down how it essentially works. So what makes ours is a little unique is this is 100% made in the United States, from the coil to the, the handle, to the spring, to the, everything is yep. made in the US. So we pride ourselves in always advancing technology that has been around forever. So we have now recently hardened and chromed the cam here, which essentially puts less friction. Less friction means less wear which means you're gonna be accurate for more clicks. Again, just because it's been around forever doesn't mean we can't make it better. So the QD, I mean, this is tried and true. You've seen this, this is in every technician's toolbox. It's mechanical, signature click, but you need to take care of your tool as well because you need to make sure when you pull it out, it's ready to go. That's right. There's a myth that goes around or, you know, do I need to take it down to the lowest torque rating on the tool or not? Yes, you do. Think of it just like a car spring, okay? You're going to create a memory, so as, years go on or uses go on, that spring is going to compress and it's going to create a memory. So if you leave it set at a high torque value in the wrench, that spring is going to create a memory at that load. You want to pull it down to the lowest value on the tool. So at the end of the day, if you've been using it, take it back down to the lowest value. Don't leave it at the highest value. Right. Yeah. One night, not going to make a difference. But over time, that will make a big difference. On to ATEC, let's do it. So ATEC is zero mechanical pieces, right? So there's a strain gauge that sits up in the yoke, tells the tool how much force is being applied, goes into a computer, tells you that torque value, and that, that's how you get there. So this is accurate up to 2%, these are 4%. So think about it in, in this analogy. Tape measure, dial caliper. Tape measure's great tool. Dial caliper is a great tool. One's just a little bit more accurate than the other, right? So if I'm trying to just get a general measurement on this toolbox, I'm gonna use a tape measure. If I wanna get a very exact number, I'm gonna use a dial caliper. Same principle here. Great for suspension work, things like that. Great for engine work where you need to be very accurate. And we've done a number of tool tips on these already. You can do, you know, torque to angle, you can do batch counting, you can do a number of different yeah, things with it. Sequence. That. And it's sensory overload too, because again, that, that signature click compared to vibration, so you get you feel it, you see the lights go on, you hear the audio go off. Mm -hmm. And man, again, your arm's not certified. I mean, those, right. are, those are great. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Let's, let's leave a little bit of stress out of your mind and put you at ease with the ATEC because we have a great display it's really going to showcase the variety of what you can do and, and really dial it in. Yeah, and what's important about this is, is that this tool makes the user more accurate. That's mm -hmm. what's important, right? So you're waiting for the click here, whereas with the ATEC, you're literally watching that value come up. And what's really cool about this tool, we heard feedback from technicians is that, hey, if I'm working on an engine, I got assembly grease on my hands, things like that, it makes it a little tricky if I got to switch sockets. So we have now come out with a quick release version of the ATEC wrench. And that's important because when you think about the torque values you're putting on it, when you do a quick release, you're essentially drilling a hole through the square drive of the tool. You think about you get into a half inch and you're applying very high torque loads, that square drive has to be very, very strong. And Snap-on, we have great, very strong square drive. So it's important to note that we are the only one in the industry that has this quick release for those that are working in maybe areas that have a little bit more grease and grime that you're worried about switching sockets, this will take care of it. Now it's time to bring in our demonstration and show you what these torque wrenches could do. Yeah, let's do it. 
Scott, we've now wheeled out this test demonstration here. I think this is really gonna show, you know, what kind of tools we have here and what we're dealing with, ATEC and the uh, QD. That's right, so you see these on franchisee trucks. This is really just to try and determine how accurate your torque wrench is as a technician. Do I need to send it in? Am I still good? All that kind of stuff. So we have the first test set up. This is going to tell us that the tool is accurate. I wanna know, I have it set to 50 foot pounds. I wanna know, am I accurate at 50 foot pounds, right? So we'll hook it up. Pop it right in there. Okay, so we're, we're right on the money. We know exactly, okay, so Good. this torque wrench is accurate at 50 foot-pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna put the user into the equation. So we know the wrench is accurate. Yeah. Now am I accurate? So let's do the exact same thing. Well, this is where you could cause damage. Again, those tighter tolerances, you know, you, you get right. certain engines that need to be specific as far as specifications. Is this the right tool for the right job? Is this overkill? What do you got? Right, so, so here we go. Cover it. Go ahead <laughs> and give cover? Me, yeah, give me a cover. Do I don't want to cheat. I want to show you okay. that where are my numbers All at. Right. Okay. It so was above. I've gone over. You've gone right? over. Now, let me, we'll do it one more time. Okay. And I'm gonna really pay attention, see how close I can get. Okay, so even paying attention, I am so out of over. spec, yeah. right? Taking my time, really focusing on how I'm doing it. Yep. All right, now let's go to the ATEC. Okay, so we've now put 50 foot pounds into the ATEC and we're gonna do the exact same test. Again, this is about putting accuracy to the user. Right. And now, so just with a click with either the TQ or the QD, now you get sensory overload. You got the lights, you have the vibration, and you get the audio experience. So three ways right. of indicating that you are hitting the desired torque spec, which right now is 50 foot pounds. Right, so you can cover it up, and this is why accuracy is so important, because I'm gonna look at my gauge here, right. and I'm gonna put my force accordingly until I get there, right? So now I've got yellow lights progressively coming up, boom. Right there. Right, right there. The I'm right on the money. And this is repeatable, right? So I can do it one more time, cover it up. Right on the money. Back so again, tape measure, dial indicator. You have both in your toolbox. They both serve a purpose. Same thing with torque wrenches. You want to be quick and accurate. QD, TQ, repeatable jobs, TQ. Whereas this, you know, working on engine, being more precise, you want to roll this out. So yes, this can do everything. Yes, that can be accurate with a lot of things. Same thing with the TQ. But again, it's all about making you as a technician faster, making more money, and everything serves a purpose. Some great points there, Scott. Analog, digital, snap-on tools as a torque wrench for you.